So the next topic is transportation. Transportation. I think you have heard this word in your daily life. The so similar transportation, which is uh, which you have heard in your life, that is wherever the production is there, there cannot be the good, same good cannot be utilized then and there itself. It has to be transported to the place where it is required or utilized. For example, you will be using different types of items in your daily life. Just like toothpaste, brush, soap, etc., etc., which you are utilizing in your daily life, they are not produced in your houses. Is it true? So they are uh, they are being manufactured at one place and they are being transported to some other place or the place where it is being utilized. True or false? True. So. When we are transport, when we uh, similar things will occur in our body. That means transportation of several materials it, uh, will occur inside our body. Just like for example, we are taking in the food material and that is being digested in the stomach. But the stomach doesn't doesn't itself require the entire food material which is being digested. It has to be transported to various parts of the body where it is required. That means blood carries the in the form of blood, it will be the digested food material will be mixed with the blood and it is going to be transported to various parts of our body where it will be utilized by our body. So, similarly, when you take several examples in your uh, lifetime, that is, you are coming to school, you are transported from your house to school by some means, by a vehicle or any other means, that means by bus, train, or some other place, some other uh, vehicle. So, here you are, you are requiring education, whereas this education you cannot be provided at your house. So you are transported from your house to the school and you are educated here. Is it clear? Now you are using pen, book, bags, etc. etc. These are the items which are manufactured in a company. They are being sold in some of the places where you are going, where they are going to be utilized. Is it clear? So similarly, our body also requires uh, produces some material at some parts of the body and it has to be transported to various parts of our body. Now, the food which is digested in the digestive system has to be transported to several parts. Now, then we are taking in oxygen and we are breathing out carbon dioxide. Oxygen which is present in the lungs has to be transferred to cells where it, where it is required. That means food has to be oxidized. So, oxygen is required in the cells. So we are transporting oxygen from the lungs to the cells and finally after oxidation some leftover material that is excretory products will be formed in the cell. If they are going to be uh, if they are going to be accumulated in your body then they are going to become a toxic material and it leads to the death of that person. So it is not happening in our body. It will be transported from the cell to the excretory parts just like kidneys. Is it clear? So the entire transport system which we see in our daily life when compared to goods, the same transport system is present in our body. Is it clear? So before moving into blood and its components, now let me give you two examples how to test the pulse rate and heartbeat. Is pulse rate and heartbeat same? No. No. Yes. They are same. Similar. You just what you do is you take out your wrist and you keep two fingers at the middle portion of your wrist and keep this activity, do this activity for one or two minutes then tell me what you are going to observe it take your own time and do it keep your two fingers just like this on the wrist, middle portion of your wrist and observe what, observe it What you are observing? What is happening? No, you are, you are observing that some material is being pushed through the region where you have touched your uh, touched with your fingers and you can feel the sense of the material moving into the hand. Some material is moving from the arm into the hand. That you can sense it with the help of these two fingers. And you can count the number of times it is passing. You can count the number of times. How many times? Count approximately per minute. In a normal human being, it will be 
it is called as pulse rate and it will be up to 72 times 72 times in a normal human being and uh, this can also be demonstrated with the help of a uh, we call the cork section of an injection body have you seen an injection body a syringe yes sir injection body over that a rubber cork will be there take out the rubber cork and then insert a needle or a uh, we call matchstick into it and then keep it over here keep it over your wrist and you can see the same portion that is you can count the number of times it is your uh, pulse rate and it will be in infants that is those who are newly born below 3 year below 3 months the pulse rate will be very high it will be nearly 150 times as the as the time progresses that is as the child is growing then it will be becoming as normal heart beat which will be equal to 72 times in a normal person and but in athletes it will be around 40 to 60 times in athletes they will be controlling their heart beat and transport system so it will be only 40 to 60 times in children it will be more around 120 the heart beat will be or pulse rate will be 120 and stethoscope was being first invented by a person in 1861 that is when Lenin. This is the person who has invented stethoscope. Previously, if a dog, if we visit a dog, if we visit, visited a doctor, then the doctor used to see the pulse rate or heart beat by keeping his or her ear near the chest region. By counting the number of uh, number of times the heart is beating, they used to see like that before invention of stethoscope. And after invention of stethoscope, now we are seeing the heart beat with the help of stethoscope. Now. we can also perform this experiment we can also construct a stethoscope with the help of a thin paper hold that paper whose phone is it take a paper fold it into a tube like structure form it as a tube like structure it will be uh, and make a diameter of 1 cm and the length of the tube should be around 10 cm is it clear now keep one end of the paper to your ear and the other end to your friend's chest you can hear the heart beat and count the number of times it is beating the heart beat and it will be approximately 70 to 80 times that is approximately 70 times and repeat this experiment with different friends and you will come to a conclusion that the heart beat in the person in every person will vary and approximate heart beat will be around 72 times or 74 times it is between between 70 to 80 times This is how to test the heartbeat of a person. This is clear. This is the introduction regarding transport system. Now I am going to explain you the transport system which takes place in human body. There are three components for the transport system in human body. They are first one is heart, blood, and third one is Blood vessels. There are three components in human transport system. They are heart, blood, and blood vessels. Now, in this class, we will study only the structure of heart. Okay. The size of the heart is one fist. Whatever the size of the fist of a human being is there, the size of the heart will be similar, more or less similar. Okay. and heart will be the heart of human being will be pear shaped it is a pear shaped structure with broad apex and pointed bottom the apex will be broad and the tip will be pointed with this picture you can say that the upper portion is broader and the bottom portion is pointed externally the entire heart will be covered with two layered membrane which is called as pericardium the entire heart will be enclosed in a two layered membrane it is known as pericardium in between the two layers it consists of a fluid known as pericardial fluid the entire heart is protected or surrounded by two layered membrane it is known as pericardium 
Is it clear? Now, this pericardium will be two layer membrane will be filled with a fluid known as pericardium fluid. Pericardium and pericardial fluid will be protecting our heart from physical shocks. And the entire heart will be surrounded by ribcage. Rib rib and it is this position of the heart is it is present exactly in the middle of the lungs and it is going to occupy some portion of the lung. That is the reason why we have a two lobed lung on the right side and three lobed lung on the left side. Right lung is slightly smaller than the sorry, right lung is smaller uh, larger than the left lung. Right lung is larger than the left lung. So and this entire heart is made up of with a membrane. The entire heart is made up of with a muscle. It is known as cardiac muscle. The entire heart is made up of with a muscle known as cardiac muscle. This cardiac muscle will play a major role in transport other in uh, heartbeat. Without this muscle, it cannot work. Without this muscle, heart will not work at all. This heart is made up of with three layers. I am not talking about the structure which is surrounding the heart. I am talking about the muscle. That is, this heart is made up of with three layered one, three layered muscle. And it is the outer layer is epicardium, the middle layer is mesocardium, and the inner layer is endocardium. The entire muscle, that is heart, is made up of with three layers. It is surrounded by two layered membrane called. Don't get confused. It is surrounded by two layer membrane called as pericardial, pericardium and it is filled with pericardial fluid. The entire heart is made up of with cardiac muscle which consists of three layers. It is in turn made up of three layer membrane. Epic epicardium, mesocardium and endocardium. This is the external features of the heart. Heart is a pear shaped one. It will the broad uh, the apex will be broad and the bottom will be pointed one. It will be surrounded by three a two layer membrane which is called as pericardium and it is filled with a fluid called as pericardial fluid. Entire heart heart will be placed in between the lungs and it will be slightly bending towards the left side. That is the reason why our left side lung will be having two lobes and right side lung will be having three lobes. Right side lung is larger and left side lung is smaller because the heart will be bending towards the left side and this portion half portion of the heart will be occupying the place of the lung that is the reason why our lung will be left side lung will be slightly smaller in size and enter heart is made up of with a muscle known as cardiac muscle which in turn is made up of with three layers it is made up of with three layers epicardium mesocardium and endocardium these are the three layers and out of which the mesocardium plays a major role in the functioning of heart. Epicardium plays, sorry, mesocardium plays a major role in functioning of total heart. Is it clear up to here? Now, entire heart will be consisting of uh, divided into chambers. Just like we can compare this one to the top a room that are present in a house. When constructing a building or a house, we will separate each room. We will give specific structure to that each room. For example, you will be having a bedroom, hall, kitchen, etc. etc. Drawing hall, drawing room, etc. Each room will be separated with a wall. Each room will be separated with that of other with the help of a wall. Similarly, our heart is divided into four rooms, which we call it as four chambers. Four chambers are present inside human being's heart. They are auricles and ventricles. Auricles and ventricles. Upper chambers are called as auricles and lower chambers are called as ventricles. 
अपर चैम्बर आर कॉल्ड ऑर्गन लोअर चैम्बर आर कॉल्ड द वॉल ऑफ द अपर लोअर चैम्बर आर थिकर दर इज वेंटेटिक्स विल बी थिकर इन साइज वेन कंपेयर टू द वॉल ऑफ द ऑर्गन द रीजन बिहाइंड इट इज ऑर्गन्स आर द चैम्बर विच आर गोइंग टू रिसीव द ब्लेड सो द वॉल ऑफ द आर्किल विल बी थिनर वेन कंपेयर टू वेंटेटिक्स वेंटेटिक्स आर द चैम्बर विच आर गोइंग टू पम्प द ब्लेड That means it is the motor. It is the motor. So the walls of the ventricles are thicker than the walls of the auricles. Now both auricles and ventricles will be separated by a septum, which is called as auriculoventricular septum. Auricles and ventricles are separated by a wall. The wall in Biological terminology we call it as septum. Both auricles and ventricles, upper two chambers and lower two chambers are separated by a septum called as auriculoventricular septum. Now, both ventricles and auricles are intern divided, are intern separated. Left auricle and left ventricle are separated by interventricular septum. Right auricle and left or sorry left ventricle and right ventricle are separated by interventricular septum. Similarly, upper two chambers that is auricles are also separated by a wall, and that wall is interventricular interauricular septum. Auricles are separated both by a wall or septum called as interauricular septum. Ventricles are separated by a septum that is called as interventricular septum. What is the main feature of this septum? What is the function of this septum? It, it acts like a wall. It acts like a wall. What is the purpose? It divides two chambers of water. The main function of this septum is not to mix the blood. That is, oxygenated blood should not mix with the deoxygenated blood. Oxygenated blood should not mix with the deoxygenated blood. So, this septum. That is interauricular septum, interventricular septum, and auriculoventricular septum will not allow the mixture of blood to take place inside the heart. Look here. Right side of the heart will always consist of deoxygenated blood. Left side will consist of oxygenated blood. Left side of the heart consists of oxygenated blood. Right side consists of deoxygenated blood. So, right oxygenated blood should not mix with the deoxygenated blood. So, that is the reason why we have septums inside the heart. Septum will be separating the oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood. And each chamber will have its own feature. Just like I told you, kitchen room is separate, uh, separated from hall. What is the purpose of kitchen room? To clean, to clean. And to clean the utensils, etc. What is the uh, function of a drawing room? To chit chat, to do your personal work. What is the purpose of your hall? To watch TV or to invite visitors to sit, to allow the visitor to sit in your hall. Is it clear? That means there is specific thing which will be performed by a specific room which is present in your house. Similarly, all these chambers will have specific reasons. Right chambers, sorry, auricles are the ones which are going to collect the blood from various parts of the body. Ventricles are the are the Chambers which are going to pump the blood to various parts. That means auricles are the receivers, ventricles are the suppliers. Auricles are the receivers, ventricles are the suppliers. So now, so that is the reason why the auricles will be separated with that of ventricles. Now, in turn, oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood has to be supplied. So that is the reason why we have interauricular septum and interventricular septum. Auricular ventricular septum will separate auricles and ventricles. So this is the main function of a septum, means a wall. Is it clear up to here? Yes. This is the internal structure of heart. External structure, external features, and internal features. External features means heart is you have to start from heart shape. That is no shape. It's clear shape. It is present in between the lungs. Its apex is broad shape and its bottom is pointed shape. 
and it is separate. It is covered with two layer membrane called as pericardium. It is filled with a fluid called as pericardium. The entire heart is made up of it. It is made up of it, a method called as cardiac muscle, which in turn has its own three layers. Epicardium, epicardium, and epicardium. And when it comes to internal heart, that is external features. And internal features, it comes up. Four chambers. Upper chambers are called auricles. Lower chambers are called ventricles. Auricles will receive the blood from various parts of the body. Ventricles will pump the blood to various parts of the body. Right side of the heart will consist of deoxygenated blood. Left side, left side of the heart consists of oxygenated blood. And each auricle will be separated by each other by interauricular septum. Ventricles will be separated by interventricular septum. And auricles and ventricles will be separated by auriculoventricular septum. Now. When it comes to blood, some blood is transmitted between in the auricle, and it will be supplied to ventricle. That is, right side of the heart, right side auricle will pump the blood into right ventricle, and left auricle will pump the blood into left ventricle. When these ventricles are completely filled with blood, then there is a chance of blood being pumped reverse into auricles. But this will not occur because of presence of valves, which are present in our heart. This valve we can compare to that of a cycle tube or a, a tire, any vehicle. When you are filling the air into your cycle or a vehicle, that is a four wheeler or whatever it may be, then it allows valve allows one side flow of air into the tube, but it will not allow the air to come out. The function of valve is one way. Valve which is present in your cycle tube is similar to that of the valve that is present in a heart. That means not the shape or structure. I am talking about the function. The function of valve in a cycle tube, cycle tire, or a four wheeler tire, or a scooter tire, will be similar to that of the valve that is present in the heart. The function of the valve is it will not allow the heart, it will not allow the blood to flow in reverse direction. Now, when the ventricle is filled with blood, there is a chance for blood to flow in the reverse direction. That is to enter into artery, but it will be prevented by a valve. Auricle, right auricle will pump the blood into right ventricle, and there is an opening which is present in between the right auricle and right ventricle. That opening is called as aperture. Yes, right. For example, now you are present in this room and you are cleaning this room. When you are cleaning this room, that means you are pouring some water and you are cleaning this room. There should be an opening or a vent for the dust or water to go out. Is it clear? Similarly, there is an opening for the flow of blood from right auricle to right ventricle. That opening is generally is termed as aperture, and it is present between since it is present between auricle and ventricle, it is called as right side is present, so it is called as right auriculoventricular aperture. Right auricle. Right ventricle. Right auricle will pump the blood into right ventricle through right auriculoventricular aperture. Similarly, there is an opening or vent in the wall or that is present between right auricle, sorry, left auricle and left ventricle. It is known as left auricular aperture. Aperture means opening or a vent through which the blood flows. Is it clear? Now, similarly, there will be a Aperture which will be present at the end of the ventricles. Can you name them? Pulmonary vent or aperture which is present in the right auricle is known as right auricular ventricular aperture. Left auricular ventricle, left auricular ventricular aperture. Clear? Right, right pericardium aperture. Right pericardium aperture. Right ventricular. Right ventricular aperture, left ventricular aperture, which are also called as pulmonary and systemic. Pulmonary aperture and systemic aperture. Pulmonary aperture will allow the blood to flow to lungs. Systemic, systemic aperture will allow the blood to flow to various body parts except lungs. Now, these are protected with walls. These openings are protected with walls. There are four walls which are present in the heart. Tricuspid wall. Bicuspid wall, pulmonary wall, and heartic wall. 
tricuspid valve is the one which is present in the right side. Right side of the heart. Right auriculoventricular aperture will be protected by tricuspid valve. Left auriculoventricular aperture will be protected by bicuspid valve. As soon as the brain is filled uh, in the ventricle, right ventricle, this uh, tricuspid valve which is present in between the right auricular ventricle will not allow the blood to flow in reverse direction. Similarly, bicuspid valve will be present on the left side of your heart that is in between the left auricular and left ventricle. It will not allow the blood to flow from ventricle to auricular ventricle. Now, when it is pumping the blood, when the ventricles are pumping the blood into the respective arteries, when the blood pressure increases, then the blood, there is a chance for blood to move in backward direction. But it will be prevented by two walls, that is pulmonary wall and arthritic wall. Arthritic wall is also known as systemic wall. So these walls will not allow the blood to flow in reverse direction. Similar to the function of the wall that is present in your cycle tube or a uh, scooter tube. The wheel tube. Is it clear? So these are the functions of the walls. Now, this is the complete structure of heart, internal structure and external structure. Is it clear with this? No, sir. Internal and external. Tomorrow we will deal with 